Welcome to Freeway Moments. In this episode, we will be looking at master pages. Master pages really help in speeding up the production of a website. You can put all the common elements, such as logos and navigation, on them. Any page based on a master page will get that content automatically. So, to start off with, let's switch to the master page on our new site. If I click on Master 1 in the site pane, you'll notice that the rulers have turned yellow. This is the master page itself. Anything I put on this master page will be reflected in the pages in the site folder that it's based on. So you can see that Untitled here is based on Master 1. So let's import a graphic. And I have a logo for my website, which I'll just drag and drop onto the page. It's a bit big, so I shall make it a little bit smaller. You notice now that if I click on the Untitled page, we've also got the same logo in the same place. If I change the position of this logo on the master page, again that change is reflected on the child page. So let's go back to the master page once more and place our logo in the top left hand corner which is where I want it to be. I'm now going to create some navigation buttons for this site. As you can see we've already got a rollover which I created between scenes and I'm going to duplicate these by holding down the option key and dragging. One and another one there. And if I select the whole bunch I can option drag and create six buttons in total. We now need to create some pages so we can link to them with these buttons. To start off with we can drag the page from the master pages folder into the site folder. This will give us a new page in the site folder and Freeway will switch to that automatically. We can also go to page and new pages and create a whole bunch of pages in one go. So I want to create four new pages based on our master page. I click the OK button and Freeway has built us four new pages immediately. Let's go back to the master page. We now want to link these buttons to the corresponding pages in the site. So again we select the group for the rollover and drag the page into the link well at the bottom of Freeway's window. And we want to do this for each button and each page in turn. As you can see, I've relabeled most of the buttons and I've renamed all of the pages. If I just change this button's name to page 6, that change, like all the others, will have reflected through all the child pages which are based on this master page. And this shows the power of master pages in Freeway. We've created a navigation system for a whole site just by working on one page. What I'm going to do now is to add a couple of text boxes and put some content in it. Firstly I want a nice header for my website. So I drive to graphic box, type in the word header and we'll make that a bit bigger. And again I'll do similar with an HTML text box. I'll just drag that out for the moment. I've done this on the master page and that gives us placeholders on all the child pages for us to put content in. So if I go to page one, I can change the text to home page. And I can do this with all the other pages if I want to. Let's go back to the home page for the moment. Now, because an item is a master page item, doesn't mean to say that we can't change it on a child page. So we can, for example, move these elements around and resize them, change their position, scale them if we want to. So we could change the look of a page, even though it's based on a master page. However, you might get to a point where you think, well, I want to put all these elements back. And that's where we can go to the inspector pattern. And you will notice there are some checkboxes there which say use master content and use master settings. So this logo is rather big now and I don't like it in that position and I want it back to where it was. So if I select it and click on the use master settings checkbox it will immediately get the settings it had when it was a master page item. And in fact I'm going to do the same thing for the home page header as well and if I change that to use master content we'll get the content which was originally on the master page. So that's really helpful if you get unstuck and 
you want to reset the um, position of elements on a page easily and quickly. So what if we want to preserve the position of a master page element? Well, we can lock items in Freeway. So if we go to the master page and select the item we wish to keep fixed and open the inspector palette, you can click on the lock checkbox and this stops the element being movable. I can't move or resize this item. And it's the same thing on the child page now. It's absolutely fixed. And locking an item like this can serve as a good reminder to tell you that that item has to stay where it is and cannot be moved. In this moment we've looked at master pages. We've looked at how a master page can be used to control the content as well as creating navigation really quickly for a site. We've also looked at placeholders, which we put on a master page, and we can change the content of that on the child pages. We can also move master page elements around on a child page and restore them to their master page settings if needed. We've also learned that we can lock elements on a master page to stop them being moved from the child pages if necessary. So this brings us to the end of this moment, and indeed to the end of the beginner series of moments, which hopefully have given you enough information to get you going on your own websites. If you do create a website and you're really pleased with it, please let us know. We've got a gallery per section to our own site and we always like to hear from our users and see what they've been doing with Freeway. There'll be some more moments in a little while. So until then, goodbye.